We have two drains. So this is a smart blue here. roof. This is the one that we harvest. Designed by the team of engineers at Enviro Stewards. The system is programmed to decide how much rainwater to funnel. And then the water comes yeah, down so through here. Into this large storage tank. Yeah. It's then filtered and treated using UV light. <laughs> It now gets used for flushing toilets. The filtered water goes in there. And watering this plant wall set up inside their offices. We've cut our water by 56% by reusing the rainwater. We've cut our air conditioning by 43% because the evaporating water keeps the roof cooler. The heating bill is also cut in half, thanks to the insulation the blue roof provides. By diverting water away from overloaded municipal sewers, it also reduces flooding risks one of the top business insurance claims in Canada. And it's doubled in the last decade. And basically we're getting more intense storms more frequently. So as we walk out here... This conservation building just outside Toronto also has a blue roof. It can hold up to 40,000 litres of water and another 5,000 in the basement. We would love to see blue roofs being built into building codes so that designers and engineers and city planners um, have these tools available to them. For all the potential benefits, this urban planner warns of possible risks of storing large amounts of rainwater on a roof. It has to be very well built, it has to be very well maintained, and it has to be inspected regularly. Then there's the cost. While usually cheaper to build than a green roof, which helps insulate the building and soak up emissions, a blue roof still costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. To have them built more widely, getting that cost down is going to be crucial. Philippe de Montigny, CBC News, Mississauga.